Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and today we're at war with Portugal and Naples. <laughs> oh, that's where we can win some more battles. We're at 75% on the um, on the Jihad ticker, the Crusade ticker. 75% on battles won. So we can win some more battles against Naples, I guess, and that'll put us over the ticking war score limit of 80%. Hopefully, Ottomans will go invade here because we don't really need their help invading. We don't really need their help invading Portugal proper. We could use their help invading Portuguese Africa, because Portugal does have like 50k guys somewhere, and since he's crisscrossing stuff here, uh, I'm assuming his 50k is in Africa. It's probably a safe assumption. But yeah, we're gonna keep sieging on, sieging up stuff over here. We're gonna recruit some derps because we can. What do we need? Um. I don't know, like six more cannons and twelve more soldiers. Okay. God damn it, I'm trying to build stuff. Wow, why do they gotta make it so stupid? If you're building stuff, it should lock you into building stuff, not you know, do other things. Uh, we'll start off with that, and we'll work on some more afterwards. But yeah, get those built. Yeah, hopefully we can get ticking war score going. That'd be great. Oh, there's... A come on, Ottomans, come help! No, the Ottomans are not going to help. God damn it. Oh, they're on their way, but they're going to be too slow. Sea battle will be over. Damn it! Now we're down to 69% victories. Fucking slow-ass Ottomans. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, uh, it'd be great if you could just tell Algeria's navy just to stay docked. But no, look at this. He's actually undocking new ships. You dumbass. Yep, and Naples just crushed it. Why did you even undock one ship just for Naples to crush? I don't understand that. And the Ottomans are destroying the British fleet. Okay. Oh, gain piety. Yay, piety. That'll help us convert things faster. Good, good. And wow, the Ottoman Navy is actually beating the British Navy. That's amazing. Probably because the Ottomans have a ton of galleys, and the Brits have none. Yep, goodbye British fleet, gone. Uh, France and Portugal have peace, okay. And we finished the siege, go us. You have three siege. Alright, let me pop you out. I'll take you, no, no, take you with everything, take you with the cannons and go to Porto. Because Porto is going to be the one stubborn province, right? Ah, Cordoba. Wow, these places converted fast. Alright, do this one. I'm very surprised how fast Cordoba converted. Like, wow. That's great. Tech up time? We're not ahead, are we? Nope. Okay. New cavalry. Sounds good to me. Um, do we want even? I mean, 4-4s four everywhere? Or do we want, like, an unbalanced for fire? Or unbalanced for shock? Ooh. I like all of those, really. I think I'll go for the army blanche. I don't know why. <laughs> Each one has so many pips. Yeah, I'll get out of there. If Castile's determined to take that, I'll just get out of there. It's okay. We'll come back. Yeah, they got 43 guys there. We'll just get out of the way. Don't worry about it, Castile. I don't hate you or nothing. At least not much. Right? So nobody's going to go siege up Naples? Oh, right, I forgot. The Ottomans are at war with Russia. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's that's just a little bit of a problem. <laughs> just, <laughs> it's just a wee little problem. Ottomans are at war with Russia. I forgot about that. Kind of an issue. <laughs> uh-huh. You might call that a, a, slight, a slight problem. You know, nothing major. 
There's a little war with Russia. They just need to get out of their system, that's all. <laughs> so are we at the ticking point or not? We're at uh, 64. No, it looks like we're not going to get ticking war score. Darn. So we'll siege up as much as we can. We'll peace out. Make them get rid of whatever alliances. They Do we have any alliances? I don't think so. Yeah, they don't have any alliances. We'll just make them get rid of whatever. Alright, give me all the cannon. All the cannon must go. Yes, come back from Russia. And can we? Oh, no, no, he's gone hostile. Wait, why are you hostile? What? Um, I'm confused why Russia is hostile. Oh, he changed. Oh. Really? He changed rivals away from Sweden to Lithuania again. Oh, stop changing rivals. For fuck's sake, Russia. <sighs> I can't just do it every five seconds. That's what she said? No, but it's true. Look, I, I really want this bonus relations, okay? And I don't want to do it by setting France as a rival. That's not an option. France cannot be a rival, okay? Not an option. In my, like, in my dream world, Austria would be a good ally, right? He would totally help me against France. But he's kind of in the coalition against me right now. Brutal. Just brutal. Come on, get the walls busted, damn it. We have a plus five for cannons and a plus three for leader. That fort better fall, man. Oh, we lost a ton of war score. Someone lost a battle. You know what this needs? This needs a date. This desperately needs a date so you see when things occurred. I think this is where we lost. <laughs> 27,000 Portuguese versus 7,000 Algeria. Yeah. I mean, they're pretty much the same tech, right? But uh, Algeria's army is split up. That's not good. You might want to group up your armies, dude. Yep, there's Portugal. We're about to lose more war score. Are you ready to lose more war score? I'm ready. I'm ready. Put me in, coach. Let's lose some war score. Let's watch this battle go poorly. Oh. I don't know why it shifts them to a different position. Yep. It's going to be squished. Yep. And we lost five more war score. And look at this. He's splitting up even further. What the fuck, Algeria? You're just splitting up more and more just because you want to lose every single fucking battle, don't you? That is incredibly frustrating. Look at him. He had like 25 guys, and instead of fighting 25 on 25, no. He splits them all up into tiny little siege stacks, and it's like dude, he actively has an army coming around squishing you, and you are you just don't give a crap. It's amazing. Just amazing. Oh, get the cannons out. Cannons, go help. Ah. <sighs> My frustration knows no bounds. But yeah, we're not going to get much war score if um, Algeria keeps losing battles up here, which they're going to do. Because look at this. Group up my stacks? No. Let's just get squashed. Four more war score. You know, taking his capital was less points than a battle. It's kind of a problem. In other words, um, he needs to actually, you know, be useful in battles and not be shit. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, royal marriage with Tripoli. Take Alentejo. Well, I'm about to take Alentejo. We're not going to have any ticking war score. That's not going to happen. If anything, we could lose a lot of battles here. Uh, my ally, Algeria, he could easily lose a ton of battles here and just instantly the war would be over against us, you know? Um, however, we could start ferrying some troops over. It looks like most of Portugal's navy has been, not most, but a lot of Portugal's navy has been squashed 
by the Ottomans, and even Algeria's navy has helped out. So yeah, we could ferry some troops over uh, and put up a fight over here. I just don't want to get stuck with my pants down. I could have war. I could have the coalition war declare on me today, and my troops could be all in Algeria, and then I'd be like, oh well, we're fucked, you know, because we wouldn't be able to get them back. That's for sure. They wouldn't be able to come home. Well, we'll see what's an option. 14% in Porto. Good. Go finish it. We have pretty much all of Portugal sieged up, but nobody cares. Okay, we got Ceylon. Yeah, we're at 15 in the war. We're at 15! Even though we have his capital, pretty much everything sieged up, we're at 15. And that's stupid. That's fucking incredibly dumb. Uh, let's go... Well, no, you can stay in Ceylon. It's fine. So Russia peaced out. No, he's still at war. He's at war with France, right. He peaced out with the Crimea. Why are we hostile? His mission is against the Crimea. Meaning he doesn't have any... Why are we hostile? Doesn't have conquest. Doesn't have colonialism. Uh, does not have holy war. Does not have defender of the faith. Does not have cleansing of heresy. Does not have trade dispute. And does not have... He has no CB on me. And yet he's hostile. I have no idea why he's hostile. He has no CB. And it says, of course, it says he's a colonist. That's bullshit. <laughs> oh, man. I, I don't know. The attitudes are just completely unknown to me. I have no idea where these attitudes come from. None. They, they never make any sense. Ottomans want help against Wallachia. Yeah, I'm sure you're gonna need I'm sure you're gonna need my assistance against Wallachia. <laughs> Goodness. And it looks like the Ottomans did have an heir. Darn it. Ah, but Algiers still doesn't have an heir. Damn it, Ottomans, why'd you have to go and have an heir? Oh, Regency for Suleiman. Alright. Sweden is now allied with the Ottomans. What? Sweden is allied with the Ottomans? Are you shitting me? You are not even shitting me. Wow, you've come together in your hatred of, of Russia. All right, there goes Porto. We, we actually sieged Porto. Look at that. All right, let's group up everybody in uh, Old Grenada. And we'll start ferrying some idiots over to, um, to Algeria. Because we need to win battles. If we don't win battles, we're not going to be able to peace out. Well, that's not true. We do have Ceylon. Com we, I mean, we don't need tons of stuff. I have a claim on that. I mean, I guess I could take more than what we have claims on, right? No, he won't. He won't give me more. He will give me Ceylon, but that's about it, right? I mean, he won't get rid of his alliance with Austria. You know what? That's probably fine. Fuck it. I mean... At the end of the day, we're going to have to go to war with him again later. We might as well just peace out, uh, get our manpower back up, just focus on whatever needs to be done right now. All right, just get out of this. There's plenty of time for more war later. All right, core it. And core it. All right, we are now three provinces away from Master of India. And he, are you still are you getting annexed? He's still not getting annexed. Why are you not annexing your vassal, Otse? I don't understand this. He's not annexing his vassal. He's had this vassal for like a hundred fucking years, and he just won't annex him. Ugh. Oh, and he still hasn't died. All right, let's go top off relations with the auto derps. Auto derps. And we're ready for a war with Castile. I just I don't think I can fight that. I don't think I could fight Castile and France, and the coalition that includes Austria. Because it does, it includes Austria. I don't think I could fight that, no. <sighs> but we didn't really get any more aggressive expansion. We're at 61. Maybe we should let that die down for a bit. Maybe give it like 20 years before. No, I can't really wait 20 years, can I? We could go to war with Aragon. Milan and Savoy. That's probably a good idea. Who would be the war leader? 
probably Aragon. Huh. Yeah, I think I do want to go to war with Aragon. Alright, speed up. We got two diplomats. What do you want to do, diplomats? Diplomat. Oh, we need, need another claim on Portugal for sure. And uh, we can fabricate on Caceres now, so let's do that. Oh, no, 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 no more. No more fabrication of claims. We don't need extra aggressive expansion. God, Shen, what the fuck is wrong with you? A lot, obviously. Oh, god damn it. Aragon just entered the coalition against us. For fuck's sake. Ah, oh, brutal. Alright, get relations up. God damn it. Negative seven, he's in the coalition. I mean, come on. It's negative seven. It's like, really? Portugal will pay 1,500 ducats. Wow. Castile just got a whole lot richer. Huh. Aragon's embargoing us, whatever. We're going to have to have some stretch of peace at some point. Just to let the aggressive expansion die down so we're not constantly fighting an uphill battle against coalition, 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 coalition. Ah. <sighs> I mean, we have enemy of enemy with Austria. We have enemy of enemy with Russia. All right, keep on converting. I think we just have to lay low for a few years. I hate to say it, but we're just going to have to sit on this for a while. That's what she said. I can't believe Castile's allied with France, you know? That is so weird. And it's not like they ever stopped sharing borders. They've always shared border here in Laborde and Roussillon. Oh well. And Castile and Portugal got their alliance back right Of course they do. They're never going to break that alliance. I mean, the only time is when they're going to be at war with each other, which is rare, but occasional. Let's see, improve relations with Tripoli, claim Beira. I don't think I want to claim anything in it anymore. Let's go ahead and get an alliance with... Well, do you guys hate... Does anyone hate Tripoli? I mean, nobody really hates Tripoli. Well, Algiers does. Oh, that is true. All right, well, maybe what we'll do is we'll wait. Yeah, let's see if we can get Algiers throne. That'd be great. Just to have them as our bitch would be amazingly good. Same thing with Atse. If we can get Atse, that'd be nice. Tech up time. All right, there we go. Nice. Now we can do war galleons. Ooh, Admiralty. Let's build the Admiralty. Uh, yeah, we do need a fleet of war galleons. I mean, war galleons are pretty crap. I might want to wait then. Might want to wait till Tech 22, because Tech 22 is new ships, new heavy ships, two deckers. Uh, I I always want to wait, and then I ha then I always have like no fucking navy. Um, Admiralty, the Admiralty of Kuzistan. No, put it in Fars. Fars is mountainous. Perfect. Yay, mountainous. Oh, let's keep on building up our forts. Yeah. Nice. All the forts, baby. Yeah, hold off on Tripoli for a bit. I'd say I want an alliance again. I don't think so. God, we have four diplomats not doing anything. And why are you hostile, Russia? I don't think Russia even knows why they're hostile. They just are. It's like, well, we exist. We must be hostile. Ah, oh, France. All 
All right, let's just keep relations up with pretty much anyone around us. Might as well. I really wish you were the next Bengal. It's just not happening. <laughs> Stubborn little man, not a nexing Bengal. Okay, the Ottomans have somehow, somehow, some way managed to defeat Wallachia. And look at this, Bulgaria still has no allies, no nothing. Why does the AI do this? It's like, well, I've, I'm a nation that didn't exist at the start of the game, therefore I'm not going to do anything ever. Hopefully the Ottomans just go take him back, right? Just go gobble him up. It's been, it's been like a hundred years and he hasn't done it. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> Portugal and Castile are back at war. There goes that alliance. <laughs> uh, so Castile's now at war with Aragon and Portugal. Okay. So we could spark the coalition, but that would bring Austria in. I'm not sure if I want to do that until the until Austria leaves the coalition. I think it's a bad idea. And did France join? No, France has not been called in. I bet I bet Castile won't call him in. But interestingly, oh wow, the war's over. The war's over? Wow, Castile paid 600 ducats. The war's over. Interestingly, uh, Castile did not lose his alliances the moment that happened. Normally, you lose your alliances when that happened, right? I don't know. He did the last couple times. Oh, well. Gain piety. Yes, keep the piety high. Keep the piety high so we can keep converting. We have a lot to convert. Most of this is from annexing Oman. But yeah, that's a lot to convert. Ah, <sighs> What can we do? Plus four... Send him a gift or something. How much would a gift? How much of a gift would we need? Uh, wow, twenty-five ducats, zero points. Fifty ducats, one points. We need a lot. <laughs> ah, it's not worth it. Not worth it. Could do like Savoy or Milan or anyone. Trier's up there. He likes us. You don't want an alliance or anything, do you? No, darn it. Uh, Poland. He likes us. I oh, can do better. And who else? Maybe Brandenburg? I mean, anybody, you know? And Castile and Portugal got their alliance back again. Of course. Of course. You know, I think I wouldn't be in such a bad position if I hadn't fabricated claims. Fabricating claims just too much aggressive expansion. It's unnecessary. Oh, shit. I saw that. Russia's just fabricating claim on Manzandaran. Oh, fuck. Russia's trying to get claims on me. Stop it, Russia. Stop it. Huh, you dick. I don't need a war with you. I don't need another war with you, Russia. I just don't. You know? So many costs. National vote risk. I mean, I'm tempted to go for just level 3s on everything. But I, aren't I ahead in tech? And sorta. Uh, I really do want to get innovative for the extra prestige, uh, the extra tech, the better leaders. Oh, it's just so nice. Monthly win. Cheaper advisors. It's a pretty good group. Hmm, economics great too. Oh man, if we're making 100 ducats now with economic, we're probably be making 200 ducats. Not even kidding. In fact, you know what? I think economics probably the way to go. Uh, let's go ahead and get economic. Screw it. Economic me, baby. And uh, let's get the level three advisor because he's 30 years old. Costs us 500 ducats to get him. Uh, yes, gain some piety. Sure. Better missionary strength. Very nice. And uh, let's start plowing through these economics ideas, because we're ahead on tech. Might as well. Forever ahead on tech, time to take an idea group, right? You know what is going to happen? France is going to go revolutionary France. I don't know what year they go revolutionary France. Maybe like 1790? Something like that? 
And that is definite time that they're going to lose their alliance with Castile. There's no way they can keep that when they go revolutionary. Then again, when they go revolutionary, they're going to be so fucking strong. Not like they're weak now, but... Yeah. So if Castile declared war on us today, we'd be fighting Castile, Portugal, France, and Austria at the same time. Wouldn't that be fun? Yay! Oh, I am I'm just dreading. I am dreading the declaration of war from Castile. That just, oh, sounds horrific. Uh, we should keep building units. We have uh, a unit cap of 160, so we can build 30 more guys pretty pretty easily. Okay. Um, what do we need? Let's get 8 more cannons and 11 more soldiers. God damn it, I'm trying to build stuff here. Stop it. What the fuck? God damn it. Okay. Build. Yeah, I'm not too keen about the idea of being at peace for too long. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but I would prefer to be at war. Just the idea that we're not making progress while we're at peace, you know? Okay, more conversions. Very good. Keep on converting. Get another leader now. Let's go ahead and get another leader. Oh, really? With 89.8 tradition, we get a 125. What kind of garbage is that? It's fucking terrible. 89 tradition, we get a 125. It's incredibly bad. That's probably the single most useless 90 tradition general I've ever seen. He does nothing that I want. Doesn't siege. Doesn't kill stuff. He just runs around fast. It's like, who cares? <laughs> it's like, oh, you, you're, you're really good at catching a retreating army, but when you catch him, you lose every fight. Man, am I glad I hired you. <laughs> uh, is that a better relations over time guy I can get? Nope. I really need a better relations over time guy. Oh well, at least we're converting stuff, right? How does the religious map look anyway? We're starting to get some Sunni creeping up into the Iberian Peninsula. And uh, yeah, we're converting Africa before Arabia because Arabia is more difficult to do. Oh well. We'll get there someday. Maybe, I'm hoping. Really hoping we get there someday. Create a fortress in Mercia. I can do that. Build a fortress. Well, Star Bastion. Same. That's what they want. Fortress is an actual name of a building, but they don't want you to actually build that building. They just mean build a bigger fort. That's all. <laughs> Still got some shit building. Missionaries are still converting. Very good. I'm actually very surprised this coalition has not triggered. Maybe they just don't want to fight the Ottomans, but I mean, the Ottomans are not super strong right now. Let me take a look. You know, 325? But you, they, the Ottomans would have to fight Austria and Castile and wherever Portugal. There's Portugal. I hate to. And France. Where the fuck is France? No, seriously. France? Wow, France has 58 guys right now. But yeah, the Ottomans and Grenada would be about 465k versus 265, 
plus 260, that's 525, plus uh, 82, that's 607, plus that, that's 660 something. So 460 guys versus 660 guys. I'm pretty sure they would still be our ass, right? Hey, plus 30 relations with Portugal. Whoa, plus, plus 30 relations with Portugal. Wow, that really brings us up to the nice round number of negative 200. <laughs> Man, am I glad for that event. That really turns the tide in this uh, war against coalitions. Uh-huh. They'll never join a coalition against us again. Oh, wait, they never left it. Oh, well. We got our two cores in place, so... Yeah, take that. Alentejo's cord. Oh, we can convert it. Yeah, as soon as we get a missionary back, we'll just go convert that shit. Not allowed to be Catholic in my town. This here's a Sunni town. Conform or get out. You know what, though? We are out of time for this episode today. So thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. Castile and Portugal, they keep fighting each other because their colonies keep declaring war on each other. Get their alliance back. They never break it. Always, always ally, ally, ally. And I, I think that is one of the major flaws in this game. That as a player, it's almost impossible to find an ally who will stick with you. Like, we've had a good buddy with the Ottomans, and they've stuck with us for a while. We've stuck with them for a while, and that's nice. But if we ever broke our alliance, there's a pretty good chance we would never get it back. Why? Because we have border friction and competing great power. But Castile and Portugal, despite having border friction, well, they had more previously, despite having border friction and despite being competing great powers, they will always get their alliance back. It's just a... Uh, historical friends or whatever whatever the the bonus is it just means that they'll always try to be buddies and it's kind of a pain in the dick because they've been to war what four times in the past like 50 years and you would think if you've been at war that many times in the past few years that you would not want to be friends again like you'd have built up some type of rivalry amongst not only your populace but your militaries too and even the the, the leadership but apparently not not in this case anyway we'll see you guys next time have a good day